this is video 7.1. We are starting a new chapter. This section is titled Area of a Region Between Two Curves. to be using our graphing calculator to graph some functions, we will be finding the area bounded by the equations that are given. So, our first example here, y equals x squared plus 2, y equals negative x, x equals 0, and x equals 1. We want to draw the graph of those four curves. Every one of these problems, I want to see a picture drawn. So x squared plus 2 is a parabola shifted up to y equals negative x is a line slanted with the slope of negative 1. x equals 0, vertical line. x equals 1, vertical line. The bounded area is whatever all the curves that are given have in common. So in this case, this would be the shaded region. To find the area of any shaded region, you will do the integral from A to B of the top curve minus the bottom curve. And this is dx in this case because our variables in terms of x. Okay, so by top curve, you look at the shaded region, you draw in a line. The top curve is the one that's at the top of the line or the shaded region. The bottom curve is the equation that's at the bottom or further below. In this case, our area is going to equal A and B or X values because it's in terms of X. So X equals zero and X equals one were given to give you a starting place and a stopping place. My top curve is x squared plus 1. I'm sorry, x squared plus 2. And you subtract the negative x. You can plug that in your calculators to get the area. And it will be 17 over 6. If the functions happen to be in terms of y, then that means your area is still the same. Your a and your b values will be y's. And then you want to look at the rightmost curve. minus the leftmost curve. And that'll be dy. Let's do one more example where there's two shaded regions. Okay, so our two functions. Okay, so let's pull out our calculators. 
Let's graph the two functions. is negative x squared plus 2x. Zoom 6 gives me a nice picture of the two. Notice that there are two different bounded regions. So I am going to take a picture of this so I can draw on it in your notes. So here are my two bounded regions. I'll do one in blue, the other one in red. For the blue region, the function that is on top was the x cubed. So I am going to have to integrate f of x minus g of x. What are my a and my b values going to be? Maybe I should write them as a and b so it doesn't look like zeros. I still need to find those. My red region that's here, the negative parabola is on top. So that means in this case, g of x minus f of x. Again, I still have to find my a and my b. I will take the two areas and add them together. So if I go back to my calculator, I need to figure out what my A and my B are. But I can do this by finding where they intersect. So there's one right, one intersection point right there. Let's scroll over to the left. I have an intersection point of negative 2, negative 8. The center intersection point is 0, 0. And then the one on the right, since it lies right there on the axis, I can see is 2, 0. So this intersection point right here is negative 2, negative 8. Then I have one in the middle there, 0, 0. And then the one here is 2, 0. So that means my first integral, my blue area, will be the integral from negative 2 to 0, my f of x curve, which is 3x cubed, minus x squared, minus 10x, minus negative x squared plus 2x. All of that simplifies to 3x cubed minus 12x dx. My red area intersection points are from 0 to 2, and it's g of x minus f of x, so that's minus x squared plus 2x, and then I want to subtract my f of x. 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x dx, which all simplifies to negative 3x cubed plus 12x dx from 0 to 2. I'm just going to punch both.
both of those in my calculator. I happen to get 12 for both of them, so I add my two areas together, and the area is 24. The one I want you to try for homework is on page 452, number 2 and 3. And I'll see you in class.